Jones, it's Miss Alam here. So today we're going to review what we did in class on the practice pad and on the bells. It's just going to be a quick review of our practice pad warm up and our hot cross buds on the bells. So if you are not a percussionist that plays the practice pad or the bells, you are in the wrong video. So you need to make sure you go back to my channel and find the video that applies to your instrument. Okay drummers, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, I have my practice pad here and my drumstick. So go ahead and make sure you have those out. Okay, so my drums, my practice pad is a little bit low. We want to make sure your practice pad is at your belt level, which is right about where the button is on your jeans, right about where the button is on your jeans right here. I want your practice pad to be at that level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise up my practice pad just a little bit. Okay, drummers, so I'm in my garage, so I found some nice bricks to raise my practice pad up. However, on your practice pad, you probably have a stand that can be loosened, raised, and retightened. Okay, but if you don't, feel free to use books or bricks. Okay, so here I am. I have my practice pad, I have my drumsticks. Remember the way that we hold drumsticks? We pinch from the first finger and the thumb. We don't want to wrap them around all weird like that. We just want to pinch them so that when I bring my hands down, my pointer finger is pointing to the ground. See it pointing to the ground right there? Pointing to the ground. Then we take the rest of our fingers and we wrap them all the way around the drumstick. We don't want them to be here. We want to wrap them all the way around the drumstick. And when we relax our hands down, they are staying on the stick. Staying on the stick. They're not doing this and being weird and coming off the stick or doing that and doing any of that weird motions. They are just staying on the stick, flexing, but not coming off. Okay? So with our metronome, let's play our eight on each hand warm up. Here we go. A one, a two, a right hand first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Thank you, bud. You need to make sure that you're not moving from your elbow like that. You're not letting the stick come up next to your face. You are just moving from your wrists and your fingers. See how it's only my wrists and my fingers that are moving? My wrist and my fingers, that's it. I am not using my elbow. Make sure you use your wrist and your fingers, please, ladies and gentlemen, like you're dribbling a basketball. Here we go, one more time, eight on each hand. Ready, set, go. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. Notice when I'm using my right hand, my left hand is nice and low and waiting its turn. It is not up here somewhere random doing weird stuff. It's just waiting its turn. And then when I'm using my left hand, my right hand is waiting its turn, okay? Now let's do eight on each hand, four on each hand, then two on each hand and done. You remember that, here we go. A five, a six, a ready, set, go. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, two, three, four. Left, two, three, four. Right, two, left, two, done. One more time. Five and six and ready, set, go. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left, two, three, four, five, six. Use your wrists. Right, two, three, four. Left, two, three, four. Right, two, left, two, done. Yes? All right, drum. So that's your practice pad warm up. You want to make sure you warm up, that, warm up on that for at least five minutes before you start to play your bells. So for now, let's go ahead and switch over to the bells. I'm going to turn this off. Go ahead and switch over to the bells. You can just set your bells on top of the practice pad and it works just fine. Okay, to play the bells, we need mallets. My mallets are blue, yours might be black. And we remember that when we played the bells, we're working on the song Hot Cross Buns, right? Now, the song Hot Cross Buns starts on the note D, right? If we look at the other screen, you can see the note that I'm pointing at that is D. You're going to want to hit that note with your right mallet. And we are going to play it as a half note, which you worked on in class. We remember, a half note gets two beats. Here we go. Hit the D as a half note. A ready, go. One more time. Two, 
Ready, go. There we go. So that first half note, we can say is a D. Now, I'll draw the staff for you so you can see it because we did talk about the staff. Remember, D is right there. Then we went to this next note of hot cross buns, which you know as C. And then the last note of hot cross buns way down here, which is B flat. All right, which is B flat. I'm just going to put a line in the middle of that. Here we go. Let's give it a go. Sorry for my messy writing. Let's give it a go. D, then C, then B flat. A one, a two, a ready, set, go. D, C, B flat. One more time and go. D, C, B flat. Two, three, four. Yeah? We remember the next part of hot cross buns looked a little like this. We have our music staff again. The next two measures look like this. Remember, they weren't whole notes or half notes anymore. They were quarter notes down here underneath that ledger line, which is a low B flat. Right? They are under the line. The line is not cutting through them. They are under the ledger lines, and we have four of them. Can we play four B flats, please? A one, a two, a ready, go. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. After that, we remember we go up to four. Of the next note up, in which the ledger line is now slicing through it, which brings us back to C, and we have four C's now. Can okay, play four C's? Ready, go. So we're going to go four B flats and then four C's. A one, a two, a ready, set, go. Up. One more time. Starts on B flat in this upper row. Remember, B flat is in the upper row and C is here. Right? It's in the lower row. D is right next to it. Here we go. A one, a two, four B flats, then four C's. B flat, B flat, B flat. We want move up, C, 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 and then we finish it off with hot crossed buns. Two, three, four, one more time. Here we go. Let's try the entire hot cross buns. Oh, starting from D, which is right here. I was going to show you another screen, but I realize I can just tilt it up so you can see. We are right here for D. Here we go. A one, a two, a ready, go. D. C, B flat, two, three, four, again, D, C, B flat, two, stay on B flat, now four times, up to C, one, two, three, four, back to D, C, B flat, you made it! Congratulations! Now you can practice playing it in octaves if you'd like. All right, remember when we play in octaves, if you can see it here, when we play in octaves, we're finding both the notes that are labeled as D and hitting them both. Then both the ones that are labeled as C, then both the ones that are labeled as B flat. And using both of our hands. All right? D. C, B flat, two, three, four, etc., etc. You can practice the whole thing in octaves. The next song we learned was Mary Had a Little Lamb. We remember Mary Had a Little Lamb used the same three notes, D, C, and B flat. However, it used them not in half notes, not in whole notes, but in quarter notes. And we're changing a little faster. D, C, B flat. C, D, D, D. I can show you one time up close and personal with the bells. 
up close and personal. So we start on this D right here. All right, there we go. D, C, B flat, C, D, D, D. One more time. D, C, B flat, C, D, D, D. Good, and last time, last time, best time. Here we go, one, a two, a ready, go. And you can use your wonderful ears, your wonderful ears and your wonderful hands to figure out the rest. And once you get that all figured out, you can even play it in octaves. It only uses those first three notes, so feel free to figure it out and get ahead for next week. And with that, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you at band on Monday.